it's Michelle and I'm doing a paper crafting project today I wanted to show you all how I made this card using paper napkins what we're going to do is transfer the paper napkin onto cardstock this is really great for card making and recently a friend of mine gifted me these napkins that I thought were just absolutely beautiful. I love these and I thought they would be perfect for this project. So you're going to need your paper napkin and I've gotten out one of them here and you're going to want to peel that into only one layer and I got this one out ahead of time and I cheated a little bit and got that edge started because they can be difficult. So just peel that apart so that you're only working with the single printed layer of your napkin. And then a piece of cardstock. For this one, this is kind of a large card. I just took a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock and folded it in half but you can make them any size that you want to you don't have to cover the entire card you can cover just small pieces of cardstock for embellishment elements on your card anything that you want to do and then you're going to need some clear plastic wrap from your kitchen and some parchment paper from your kitchen. I've got two sheets of the parchment paper here. One is going to go under our project and one is going to go on top of our project. And wherever you do this at, you're going to need to protect your surface. Here I've got my magnetic ironing pad that goes on top of my dryer and I just brought that to my kitchen island so I'd have more workspace to show you all or you can just get out your ironing board but you will need something to protect the surface because we're going to be ironing and then of course you'll need your iron and that needs to be dry you don't want to use a steam setting and I made sure that I don't even have any water left in mine so that there's no chance of that so that I don't get the napkin wet and you're going to want it on a medium setting and if you can see in there to my settings I actually have four settings so there's not an exact middle and I just went the upper side of middle which is for polyester the lower side of middle would be for wool and silk so you all can just test that out and see which one works best for you I think the little hotter than medium settings not going to hurt it because we're going to have that layer of parchment paper over top to protect it so just lay down your card or just your small element piece of cardstock or whatever it is that you're going to be using and then we're going to put a piece of our plastic wrap so as you might have guessed it's as simple as our hot iron melting the plastic wrap that's going to become the glue to adhere our paper napkin. So just kind of get that on there as smoothly as you can. You don't want a lot of wrinkles because that may show through in your finished project. Take your napkin, the one ply, and try to line that up the way that you think you're going to want it on your card. I think that looks pretty good for mine. And then your second layer of parchment paper over top of that. I like the parchment paper because you can kind of see through it a little bit to help you 
know that you're still on track and everything's adjusted the way that you want it. And then just bring in your iron. Just smooth over it for a few seconds. I like to be sure to get the edges really well because if it doesn't adhere at the edges, it'll start peeling up from there and it'll end up ruined. So we want to make sure to get those edges. you do that for a few seconds you can kind of peek underneath and see if it's adhering well and ours seems to be on there really good actually I did that last one on the lower side of medium on my iron and it didn't do quite as well so the polyester setting is working better for me So then we're just going to lift that up and trim the edges. I'm going to do a rough trim at first. Just so that it's easier to work with. And then we can just turn that over backwards and trim right up to the very edge of our card. After I've trimmed all my edges, I like to kind of go back over it again and make sure that everything is down really well. Isn't that pretty? And when you all do this, you'll see that it gives a really nice feel to the front of that. I really like that. And those napkins were just so beautiful. This is a good technique to use for, for your greeting cards or like I said before, just the smaller elements for your greeting cards. It's great for scrapbooking and handmade gift tags. And if you're given a themed party and you have the napkins for your party that match your theme, these would be really good to make the matching invitations for your party. So just whatever you want to do with that. Anything that you can use cardstock for, you can adhere the paper napkins and make a really, really nice embellishment. I think these are just beautiful so you all let me know what you think and if you have any ideas of other projects that this technique would be good for let me know don't forget to subscribe give me a like over on my Facebook page and follow me on Pinterest thanks for watching I'll see you next time